Today, we received 18 4090s that came in for repair. Not too long ago, we got 19 4090s that also came in for repair, but they had cracked boards. I went over them in a video, a previous video, maybe about three, four weeks ago. Now, most of the ones that came in today are the Founders Edition. We have one, two, three of them here. We have five of them here. One, two, three, four, five. We have a few of them open on my bench. I already fixed how many? One, two, three, four. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. And I have a few on my bench that we need to work on. One right here. And we have one on my bench right here. This one, I told Big Bus, you do not need to open it. I think I already know what the problem is. If you look at the pin here, I'm recording using my phone, so we'll jump under the microscope and see what's going on. But I do see an issue here. Maybe we can work on it in this video and we can test and see if that will fix the problem. Before we start the video, I want to give a shout out to our sponsor, PCBWay. PCBWay is a China Shenzhen based PCB manufacturer and printed circuit board assembler with more than a decade in the field of PCB prototype and fabrication. They offer a wide variety of services, including 3D printing, CNC machining, sheet metal fabrication, and much more. PCBWay is committed to meeting all your PCB needs. They offer quality on time delivery and competitive pricing. One to two layer boards starts at $5 with 24 hours turnaround. Get an instant quote by visiting PCBWay.com or click on the link below and make sure to check them out. Okay, we're good. Let's go under the microscope and see what's going on in this area. Like I said, we're not gonna open this card. UPS just came in and I think he brought the microscopes that we've been out of stock for a month almost. Let me check quick. So we have the Barlow lenses 0 0.5 and 0 0.75. We have the scopes and those are the all new scopes with the measuring feature. I'm going to go over them maybe tomorrow or the day after. And... Hey Mike, just a second. Mike, our UPS guy just came in, dropped off the microscopes and picked up. Very nice person. A little rough on the edges. When I first met him, when we moved to this warehouse, he was that, like, he was that type of guy that you cannot talk to. Full beard, looking tough. And he just got used to us. The mailman is here. The post office. He came to pick up. And that's why I always mention orders almost always ship out same day. Let's say you ordered in the morning or by 1 p.m. or even by 2 p.m. Your order may still ship out same day. And in case you are new to the channel, we carry and sell all the tools that we use for the most part. Everything from original Amtec Flux, the braid wick, solder wire, tweezers, hot air station, soldering stations, thermal cameras, power supplies, this amazing microscope. We have a new version, it already arrived. Everything, thermal cameras, 
voltage injection tool, charging stations, whatever you need, just log into our site, northwishfix.com, click on shop, add to cart, check out pay, and we almost always ship out same day. Easy. Now, I also noticed that we have one, a broken trace right here. I flipped the card, and we have a broken trace right here. We're going to have to fix it. Another thing we can do, instead of running a wire, we can also run a pad just like this one. We can grab it off another donor board and solder it on here. Let's do that so we can have a variation in this video. Different techniques, different ways. There are 101 ways to skin a cat. Not that we're going to skin a cat, but it's the same. What if we remove a pad from this donor cord? All right, that pad is soldered on nicely from the top and bottom, and we'll see. We had to restore two pads. One of them we did it using a wire, and the second one borrowing a pad off another donor cord. We're going to use skin pack wipes, the Northridge Fix brush, and 99% isopropyl. You can purchase skin pack wipes and the brush off our site, along with all the other tools that we mentioned in this video. And let's go ahead and test. Not see a thing right here. I just plugged in the card to the PCIe slot, which is connected to a Dell motherboard. And we're going to connect the power cable, the 12 VHPWR cable that has three 12 volt inputs. And because I'm optimistic, I'm going to connect the HDMI cable and hope for the best. All we have to do is tilt the camera to that monitor on top and we should see a Dell logo if the card is working one two and three power supply on and nothing The problem is more involved. We're going to have to open up the card and see what's going on. I do not see a fan spin on this card. I'm going to give the card to Big Boss to disassemble and I'll be back to finish the video. All right, so the motherboard is out right here. And I just realized one thing, looking at the connector, let me go under the microscope. The connector looks clean. We do not see any burn marks, nothing melting. But if you look here, we see a separation between the connector and the board. 
we may have disconnected pins under or maybe broken pins. Look at this. See how the pins are bent inwards? Let me do a quick measurement. 12 volt coils. Good. Good. Let me go to diet mode. Our 5 volt coil. 0 0.4 voltage drop. Good. Then we have our 1.8. 0 0.29 good and that's the pin that we fixed right here let's go ahead and replace the connector without wasting any time the fan on this car does not spin when we power the card on so the problem may be the connector I just covered that connector, the one on top, so we do not burn it. And right now I'm applying 450 degrees Celsius. 400 will not work, 350 will not work. Just the maximum temperature on your hot air station and maximum airspeed. This board is thick. It absorbs a lot of heat. And now I need low melt solder. We're going to apply low melt solder right here. And now all we have to do is pull on that connector. With this fire that you can buy off our site. Grab from under and pull. Done. I'm going to keep applying heat and we're going to suck all the solder from the holes using the NF dot sucker. So we're going to start one, two, I do not want to keep counting, but it's going to take 16 pumps to the solder 16 holes. Very easy. Let's go under the microscope. Look at this. Look at the magic of the NF dot sucker. Look at this. How long did it take? Maybe 10 seconds. There is no electric pump out there that's going to be able to remove solder from the holes in 10 seconds. Wow. Engage the pump, release, engage, release, engage, release. Done. Press and hold from under. Add some flux. Solder a few joints so that connector can make a connection. Then we can let go and do the rest. One here, one here. Let me add more solder onto the tip. One here and maybe one here. I'll let go. 
and now we can solder the pins one by one. All right, and we're done. Look at those joints. And look at that better than factory connector. We're done. All right, so let's go ahead and plug in the cord. We're going to plug in the power cable. HDMI cable. And now we're going to turn the camera and we want to monitor the screen. One, two, and power supply on. And let's see, are we gonna get anything on the screen? Yes, yes, the card is working. And it says to press F2 for setup and all that good stuff we are using a dell motherboard we did see the dell logo and the card is working wow we did it so it was not only the pcie pins but also the connector the connector did not look burnt no melting but it was angled to the side we did it we did it. I'm going to hand the card over to Big Boss to reassemble and do further testing. We're going to invoice and mail this back to the customer. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think. Leave it down in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll do something else in the next video.